In today's society, the cultural battles we face are deeply intertwined with individual identity and collective norms. People have the right to define who they are, but these personal choices often ripple through the shared values of the community, sparking intense debates. To think about it, why is this such a roadblock? Why is it, why have we spent an hour discussing this, especially you, you say you care about the students, but half of you are not sure what gender is, especially transgender. I know the lawyer said transsexual earlier, that's not the correct term. It's transgender. I'm a transgender woman, my pronouns are she, her, and I will only accept those pronouns. I will not be addressed any other way. And in the workspace, I have, I'm protected by that. Our students should be too. Especially when they don't, they're not over 18, don't have a voice. So I'm just imploring you to, to go beyond what, um, just really consider what is this fight really about? Why is it such entrenched? I know we hear a lot about religious liberty and uh, quite honestly, uh, I grew up in Christian education all through college. I don't remember any of my doctrinal classes mentioning only male and female, and that's the way it should be. Um, if, if you feel it is, awesome, good, you get to believe that. You don't get to impose those beliefs on anybody else. And that's actually what li religious liberty is, is that your right to believe that is protected, but the other person that identifies as something else is also, also is the right to be protected. So I guess I'm here to say is, uh, you know, with Oshkosh Pride, uh, we're paying attention. And we're going to be involved in this conversation if it keeps on going. But we've spent an hour on this conversation when clearly there are other issues on this agenda. There are other issues that we need to be doing for students in the area. Thank you. Thank you. At the heart of the matter lies a conflict between deeply rooted beliefs and what some see as a radical redefinition of gender. The reaction to this shift is more than just a pushback. It's a reflection of broader fears about the erosion of long-held social standards. The call for specific pronouns and the affirmation of transgender identities challenge the traditional binary view of gender, a cornerstone of conservative ideologies. This clash symbolizes a larger cultural war, pitting those who cling to foundational values against those who champion progressive and fluid understandings of gender justice. While the freedom to assert one's identity is celebrated, it also brings to light the tension between personal liberty and societal expectations. The demand for recognition and authenticity through chosen pronouns is a powerful expression of self. Yet it inevitably collides with the reality of others, who may feel their worldview is being upended or even threatened. This complex situation touches on political, identity, and power dynamics, as well as the broader currents of social change. The statements made by transgender individuals echo a profound sense of self and a fervent demand for acknowledgement, sometimes supported by governmental policies. However, it's crucial to also consider the perspectives of those who feel unsettled or even threatened by these shifts. The intense emotions and charged language, terms like crazy or sideshow, are less about rational discourse and more about visceral reactions to cultural upheaval. As a result, those who uphold traditional values often feel increasingly alienated, while advocates for transgender rights grow more resolute. This polarization, fueled by strong rhetoric on both sides, creates a volatile environment, where understanding becomes ever more elusive. 